Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Fun Facts with Discord. You might have noticed, why is there a man on my screen? How did he get in here? Is he in my house? He's probably in my house. Make him go away. The answer is, I wanted to try a different format for Fun Facts with Discord, and I also put this on because, as you probably saw on Twitter, that's what I was wearing today, and also it makes me look like a mad scientist, which means I'm Joe Tucker. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. It's heartbreaking, I know. Poor dog. Anyway, we're gonna try this out, and if it works well, and if it's well received, I might keep doing it. If not, well, you saw my face, and you hated it, and whatever. I probably just worked better as a disembodied voice anyway. Here we go. The Chinese word for vampire is shi shi gui, which literally translates to blood suck ghost. Good job, China. Despite popular misunderstanding, bats aren't rodents, nor are they related to rodents at all. Molecular genetic studies have actually revealed that their closest relatives are the carnivores, the hoofed animals, the whales, and the penguins. Isn't nature wonderful? It sure is. The Ruoni Kenshin anime as a whole has been dumped in English by three different companies. The original anime was dubbed twice, once by Sony under the name Samurai X. Oh god, I remember that name actually now. And the second time by Media Blasters and Bang Zoom Entertainment. Meanwhile, the anime movies for Roroni Kenshin Requiem for the Ishin Shishi, along with Trust and Betrayal, and the new Kyoto Arc OVAs were dubbed by ADV Films and Sentai Filmworks. Can somebody just give Roroni Kenshin a home, please? Because I'm like thinking about all the licensing fees all these companies had to go through to get it, and just... Just give him a home. Give him a permanent home. Thank you. I beg you. There is a manga series similar to, apparently, my series, God Creates Things, which is entitled Heaven's Design Team. In this story, a new angel is sent to the design team itself, who is in charge of creating life in the world. The design team's quirky and eccentric employees crank out different beings, and God is the one who chooses which ones to approve, and sometimes sends out really vague requests like, unadorably cute in other things. It sounds like a wonderful series. I suggest you all check it out, and maybe, just maybe, I won't have to sue. The Robot Masters, Splash Woman, and Hornet Man from Mega Man 9 had originally their gender swapped before the game was released. Hornet Man was originally known as Honey Woman, and Splash Woman was originally known as Ocean Man. They had their gender swapped because KG and Afine wanted the female robot master to be represented by a mermaid. I mean, it's cute, but who, who does that? Who, who puts robots in mermaid costumes? Like, I, nobody, would, nobody would do that. In the game Minecraft, the OG character model would look like this. The character's name is Rana. How after, after a bit of development, she was unfortunately scrapped. This photo was taken by using a mod to upload her model files in the game. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. She kinda looks like Raggedy Ann with the frog suit on, so I can see why Miku Hatsune did not want her in her game. The Beastie Boys came up with their group name because it was reportedly the stupidest name they could think of. And that is... I almost want to see if that's true or not, but knowing the Beastie Boys is probably right. The smallest species of deer is not the dick dick, as many people would believe. I think they're actually a type of antelope anyway, according to dry on with two ends. But the poodoo. Poodoos are usually 13 to 17 inches tall and about 22 pounds when fully grown. They live in rainforests in South America and they're also very, very adorable. Look them up. To shave you a few seconds off your life. It's adorable, isn't it? Love it! Although Cars the Video Game was based on the first entry of the Pixar series, it was released three days before the movie. The former on June 6, 2006, and the latter on June 9th. Thus making it the official beginning of the Cars franchise and making Lightning McQueen qualified to be in Super Smash Bros. as a video game character. No. Absolutely not. Too OP. He would just run everybody over. And finally, buckle up, it's a long one. <clears throat> Club 
When Club Penguin was in beta testing, the CP team initially thought of having moderators walk around as polar bears instead of penguins, since they would be very different from penguins and stand as obvious authority figures. Chris Hendricks, aka Screenhog, even created some animations for the polar bears. When the team put the assets into their initial beta server, however, they quickly noticed two big problems with this approach. Number one, the mods would basically be celebrities and get swarmed by excited penguins, so they couldn't see what the players would normally do. And number two, if the polar bear wasn't in the room, then someone would think that they can get away with breaking the rules there. Since these things would ultimately end up making Club Penguin less safe, the polar bear mods were scrapped. That's very tragic and very sad. However, Club Penguin, since the majority of the people who play the game now are a bit older, I would like to suggest bringing that back. And your form of banning people is having the polar bear mods eat the naughty penguin. Well, this has been a nice change of pace of doing fun facts with Discord. If you like it, please let me know. And if not, that's okay. I wear shades to hide my crying face all the time. Bye.